Good evening, ladies and gents, Barbies and Kens, poets and quants. Welcome to the second annual Bobskers. I'm Bob Bees, professor of management at Georgetown McDonough and self-proclaimed movie buff. And tonight, we have four awards honoring the best depictions of leadership in film. Our first award goes to a movie that not only shows us how to find the leader inside of us, but also how to empower others to lead in their own right. And the Bobsker for unleashing your inner leader goes to, hold a second, Barbie! Do you guys ever think about dying? Barbie has several leadership lessons. Let me highlight three of them. True leadership is more than wearing a fancy suit or having a loud voice. The most inspiring leaders intentionally include and empower everyone to achieve the greatness of who they are. You need to believe in yourself and unleash your inner leader so you can overcome any adversity. As heard in Gloria's speech about how it's impossible to be a woman, yet in the process she inspires Barbie to find her voice. It is literally impossible to be a woman. And finally, you can't do it alone, you won't do it alone. It's about teamwork and collaboration. The leadership in Barbie is, in a word, sublime. Sublime! Our second award goes to a movie that shows us how a confident leader can bring talented people together to achieve mission success. And the award for best example of leading with confidence goes to... Oppenheimer! This is a matter of life and death. But I can perform this miracle. Now, I'm not just choosing Oppenheimer because I look like Albert Einstein, although that is what kids used to call me back at school. Oppenheimer has a lot to teach us about leadership. First, be prepared and lead with confidence, particularly in times of challenge and uncertainty. Remember, leaders are signal senders. Build an A-team and attract talent to your vision. Speaking of building an A-team, see if you can identify all of the actors in Oppenheimer, who Christopher Nolan also chose for his three Dark Knight movies. Would you like to see my mask? So now that we have honored Barbenheimer with the first two awards, our third award goes to a movie that's an example of a leader who was truly a bold leader. And the award for the best example of taking risks is... Air! My name's Sonny Vaccaro, I'm with Nike. Do you typically make it a habit of showing up at people's front doors unannounced? I don't like to take no for an answer. Have the courage to venture into new territory, as Nike did in signing Michael Jordan. Trust your team and show confidence in them as Phil Knight did with Sonny Vaccaro. And also, as a bonus fact, when Michael Jordan met with Ben Affleck, he only had one request, and that was that Viola Davis would play his mother. And another bonus fact, the man who played Viola Davis' husband in the movie is her real husband. Oh, man, here we go. And finally, our last award goes to a movie that shows us how to trust our own creativity and to stick by it, even when the odds are stacked against you. And the award for best example of innovation goes to Flamin' Hot! I'm the guy who helped bring the world the most popular snack it's ever seen. Are you ready? I will. I've been ready. Flamin' Hot has several leadership lessons. Let me highlight two of them. Innovation can come from anyone, regardless of job title or education, as it did with Richard Montañez, who demonstrated how a simple idea can transform an industry. Believe in yourself and have the will to do what is necessary to get things done. And that will involve the support of others. Again, you can't do it alone, you won't do it alone. Ow, 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 burn. Burns, burns good, good or burns, burns bad? bad? It burns good. Oh, 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 what's this? Who put this here? A bonus award for best and most handsome award show host goes to me. Well, this is a total surprise, but I had a speech prepared just in case. You know, I wasn't always this handsome and hot, although my wife Susan thinks so. I guess it all began 20 years ago when I had the 